A happy three-day weekend, everybody. Eric Songer coming to you with the What's Happening in the Chaska Middle School West Band Department weekly podcast for January 21st, 2018. And what a great week it was. Uh, last week of the semester, we were at that midpoint. I was like telling seventh graders, you are now closer to high school than you are to your elementary school days. It's pretty crazy. And eighth graders, one semester left. Two and a half years in middle school, you're down to one semester High school's around the corner, and what a great semester it's going to be here as we uh, come to the second half of the school year. So uh, it was a good good uh, last week of the semester. We had a guest speaker come in, Carl Viterbol, a uh, trombone and low brass specialist, and he met with our trombone, baritone, and tuba players during wind time on Thursday and uh, gave an awesome clinic. Uh, very high-energy guy. Uh, I, I think Carl uh, makes... Uh, some of the basics and foundational uh, concepts of learning an instrument very fun and the one reason I bring Carl in is to just let uh, our low brass players and really anybody know that taking lessons is a very valuable thing for those of you who either a want to become really good musicians b are struggling and would like that extra help that uh, is just not available during the school day uh, as far as uh, music lessons or C, uh, just want to uh, to get to be a little bit better at your instruments. Uh, maybe you're kind of a, a middle of the road player and you, you'd like to, uh, to, to step that up a notch. So if you are interested in taking lessons from Carl or anybody on your instruments that I recommend, um, let me know and I can get you uh, contact information and get you set up for private lessons. Uh, it was also the end of the semester, as I already mentioned, and I got to listen to a lot of playing tests um, which is a little overwhelming, but at the same time, you know, it's really fun to hear everybody play uh, songs that they've worked up, and uh, there were some just outstanding submissions uh, for playing tests, and we have so much talent at Chaska Middle School West. It's fun to listen to so many of the talented musicians uh, work hard and show improvement. Um, I, I heard a lot of students who uh, have been struggling, who have taken it up a notch, and who are starting to sound really good. I heard some... I heard some uh, Musicians who just started this year, uh, who are really showing a lot of improvement. Uh, it was really fun to hear all the sixth graders do your first playing test and just kind of see where you're at and, and, and kind of uh, enjoy the moment, I guess, as I am like, wow, you, you are starting to sound like a really good musician. You are no longer a beginner. So so uh, just some great playing tests to listen to. So, so anyway, onward and forward, as I usually say on these podcasts, to second semester and more specifically, the week ahead and the month ahead. So looking ahead here, we are in the midst of a three-day weekend. And when we come back, our schedule looks like this. It's all seven period days this week for the first week of second semester. So you know, as far as A and B days go, Tuesday and Thursday will be B days. Wednesday and Friday will be A days. And we have a couple special school-wide events that uh, don't have anything to do with music, but will affect our schedule this week. Uh, we have the awesome seventh grade ski trip so seventh graders, you will uh, not be having an uh, eight-day band on Wednesday. And sixth graders, you have this really cool opportunity called Ellis Island on Friday. So we will not be having sixth grade band uh, on eight-day on Friday. So um, as far as the lesson schedule goes, so uh, Tuesday, I have decided not to have any sixth grade band lessons. So sixth graders, no regular traditional band lessons this week for you. Now, there are some other opportunities coming up that I'll talk about in a second uh, that would apply to some sixth graders. Now, we also have no wind time this week. So for those of you in the ensembles, such as the eighth grade ensemble, Glam Boys, Spice Girls, Times Square, Dodeca Beats, Flute Quartet, Brass Sextet, I do have you down for lessons this week. They're just not during wind time. So check out when those are, and hopefully you can make it to those. The seventh grade ensembles I had scheduled for Wednesday, but due to the ski trip, we won't be doing those, unfortunately. So no socio piplets and no Avenatta tonics this week for seventh grade. I do have the oboe and bassoon and French horn and tuba lessons scheduled, as well as the first year band lessons scheduled. So hopefully you can come to those. And then finally, uh, bonus lessons on Fridays. Now, seventh and eighth graders, you've been doing bonus lessons or had the opportunity to do them. Some of you have been doing them. You're used to how those work on Friday. Sixth graders, this is your first opportunity to become part of the bonus lesson program. And here's how they work. Uh, 
and actually in some of the knife fairs too, I'm adding three new ones. So you might also be interested in joining one of these new bonus lesson opportunities. So first of all, they would meet on Fridays, uh, all but one of them, which I'll talk about at the end, and they rotate uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh hour. Uh, which actually brings up another thing that I will be adding six hour into the band lesson rotation this semester. So they meet on Fridays, they meet for a regular 20 minute session, and when you take one of these bonus lessons in second semester, you will actually be working your way up to a playing test on that topic or instrument for the end of the semester, instead of doing it on your band instrument. Now, you do have an option. If you'd rather still do the playing test on your band instrument, you can always do that. But you also have the option of doing it on your bonus lesson topic. Here are the bonus lesson options. There are nine of them for second semester. Guitar, jazz piano, bass guitar, drum set, songwriting, improvisation, music production, and the eighth one is listening slash theory, where we focus on the history of music, going back to the Renaissance and Baroque music days, listening to music, analyzing it. And the ninth one is four mallet technique. Now this is only open to seventh and eighth grade percussionists who would like to get better at four mallets. And unlike the other eight, this one will only meet for two months and it will not have a playing test at the end of the session four mallets and it will also be meeting on Tuesdays instead of Fridays so that's the four mallet lesson and we actually do have a four mallet lesson on this Tuesday beginning of sixth hour all those other eight will meet on Fridays they all meet this Friday check out the lesson schedule to see when they are and for those of you who are switching to one of these if you want to just come to the first two or three and see if it's something for you that you would like it that's absolutely fine but once we get to the middle of February I want you to make a final decision on if this is for you. So if you have any questions about bonus lessons, let me know. I started this last year, actually two years ago, we kind of started phasing it in. Last year, I piloted the program, and this year it's a full-out program where kids can, like I said, become very good at these areas and do a playing test on them at the end of the semester. So that's that. I'm going to move on. Uh, we have a couple of uh, cool things coming up that I need student volunteers for. And let me know if you're interested. The first one is Rocket. The Rocket concert is an event on Friday, February 2nd at 7.30 p.m. It features our garage bands and country bluegrass band performing in the large gym on a makeshift stage that we build and put lights on and have a curtain and screens on either side of the stage with video footage of what's going on. And it's part of our Pennies for Patients uh, events that we do during the month of February where we're raising money for childhood cancer. And what I need for this event, in addition to obviously our garage band and country band performing, is five things. I need kids who would like to bake items like cookies, uh, pie, uh, bars, some kind of thing like that, and then give that to us so that we can sell it with the money that we raise from that going to Pennies for Patients. There is no admission to this concert, but we'd like to raise money through, through a bake sale. And you can also volunteer to help out and sell those baked items as well if you'd like to. Second thing I need are visual artists, people who like to paint or draw. And what you would be doing is while the country and garage bands are performing, you would be creating something on a canvas in front of the stage, or actually off to the side of the stage, but so that people can watch you work. And by the end of the concert, hopefully we have created a work of art that we can display in the school it would be a creation that's uh, a little bit inspired by the music that's being played, but also maybe an idea that you have that's maybe related to Pennies for Patients or related to our school or any other topic that you think would be fun to uh, create. Third thing I need are dancers, and I'd especially love to get the dancers from the talent show, but anyone else who's interested, we can do a couple dance routines during the Rocket program. We also need DJs, and I'm preferably wanting to get DJs who took the Hip Hop Academy class this past fall. Um, but if you have some previous DJ background, uh, talk to me as well. Um, both the DJs and the dancers will be providing entertainment while we're doing changes in the bands because we have four different bands performing. So we'll need some uh, entertainment between those bands. 
And then finally, I need tech crew people, people who want to help with sound or lights or video for this concert. So if you have any interest in those things, let me know. The other thing that we're starting up second semester, actually we've been doing it, but not at a very large scale, is Morning Star. Morning Star is an opportunity to perform in the cafeteria before school starts while kids are eating breakfast from about 8.15 or 8.20 up until school starts. And what we're mainly looking for are people who like to sing, almost like karaoke style, play piano, just solo piano, or play other instruments, maybe in even a small group. Oh, and we're also looking for DJs. So if any of you are interested in doing any of those things, let me know. We can do it on a one-time only basis, a once a month basis, maybe every other week, or even an every uh, once, once a week on a specific day, if it's always your day. So let me know if you're interested in doing that as well. Um, one other announcement before I go through our after school schedule, and that is eighth grade band members, we're taking our big tour on May 18th to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And if you have not turned in your form for that yet, you need to do that. And I have extra copies of that bright orange form sitting on the piano in my band room. And I'm thinking about putting them up on the bulletin board too. So make sure you're grabbing those sheets. All right, let's look at the after school schedule for this week. So no school Monday. Jazz 6 will meet Tuesday after school. We're going to have Country Bluegrass Band Wednesday after school. Rhythm Section will meet before school Thursday. 7th and 8th grade Jazz Band after school Thursday. And Garage Band after school on Friday. So a full schedule of events this week after school. Um, upcoming events. So this week, first week of the semester, we have two really cool special artists coming in to give master classes. The first one is nationally, uh, a, na a national performing artist. His name is Ian Allison. He tours around the country playing with a variety of headlined acts. Uh, he just recently got off a tour with Eric Hutchinson. And Ian is a bass player based out of Minneapolis. And he is just a wonderful man. Both a uh, great musician and a really nice guy. And so he, he's been coming in to speak to my bands now for about three years. Uh, he's very inspirational. Uh, he plays for us, tells stories, talks about being a professional musician, uh, talks about you know how to get to that point for kids who are interested, and uh, shares some stories. Just a great guy. So he's going to be here on Tuesday, January 23rd, speaking to the first, second, and third hour bands B-Day bands. If you're an A-Day band member, you'd like to come, feel free to stop by. And then on Wednesday, 7th hour, another really great uh, special guest, Banamali Medina. She's a flute player and a flute teacher, uh, actually at McPhail Music Studios, just like Carl Vitable that I talked about earlier. Uh, Banamali is going to be here 7th hour on Wednesday, speaking to our 6th and 8th grade flute players who can make it. She'll be here the whole hour. Uh, if you can only come half the time, we'll take it. Um, she'll be also uh, very, very good player and great teacher. So we'd love to have our flute players come out and see Bana Mali. Um, looking ahead a little bit, on January 30th, it's a Tuesday, our 7th and 8th grade band members will be going to the District 112 Band Festival. And here is how that works. If you are a 7th or 8th grade band member going to Chanhassen High School, that morning you're going to go right to the bus loop at the beginning of the school day, get on the bus with your instrument and your music, and we're going to head over to Chan High School where you'll have a rehearsal with the other 7th and 8th graders from Pioneer Ridge and East who are going to Chan High School with our guest clinician, Joni Sutton, who's awesome. And then you'll also have a little time rehearsing uh, with your high school, future high school band director, Mr. Swanson. And then we'll finish the morning over there by having a performance, 7th grade band will perform, 8th grade band will perform, and then the top band from the high school will perform. And we may do a big combined performance doing the fight song. So that will be really cool. By the way, 7th graders, you're playing Celtic Air and Dance. 8th graders, Mammoth Overture. Flute players, don't forget your recorders. Then we come back in time for uh, lunch for the 8th graders and 4th hour for the 7th graders. And then we do it all again with the kids going to Chaska High School. And it's the exact same schedule uh, of our exact same activities that we're doing. The only difference is we're leaving after the first lunch shift. So if you are a seventh grader that's going to go to Chaska High School, you should eat the first lunch shift right after third hour on Tuesday, January 30th. And so we do that, get on the bus, go to Chaska High School. We'll be there from fourth hour through the end of sixth hour. And again, the only difference in activities, instead of meeting with Mr. Swanson, you guys will meet with Mr. Beckler over at Chaska High School and play their fight song. And uh, you'll get back by uh, seventh hour. So, and 
and you also get to work with the guest clinician joining Sutton and do the same guest clinician at both schools. So really, really cool stuff. And uh, that's on Tuesday, January 30th. You don't need a permission slip. Uh, we're just getting on the bus and taking a half day and, and making it a really fun half day of music. So that's Tuesday, January 30th. Also coming up, I already mentioned it. I'll just say a little bit more about it is the Rocket Concert, which is on Friday, December 2nd at 7.30 p.m. And again, it features our garage band and country bands. Each of those bands will be playing a few songs. It is free admission. Uh, we'll be selling baked goods with that money going to Pennies for Patients. It's in the CMS West Large Gym at 7.30 p.m. For the garage band and country bands, we'll be doing a brief sound check, which will start around 5 o'clock that afternoon. If you would like to stay after school to help set up, we would love it, of course. So that will be the schedule for Rocket. And then looking a little further ahead, Saturday, February 10th, we have our District 112 Jazz Festival, and that will be at Chaska High School this year. And that will be starting around 11 a.m. And we'll have our rhythm section and all three of our jazz bands performing at that during either the late morning or early to mid-afternoon for our clinician. And those are open to the public to come see us play and get a clinic. And then the day uh, continues with a clinic for all the students, followed by a, uh, a brief rehearsal on how our evening concert will work. And then there'll be dinner provided. We just need each jazz band member to bring in a rhythm section member $5 to eat dinner that night. And then we do an evening concert at 7 p.m. It actually starts with a pre-concert at 645, which will feature our rhythm section. And then at 7, all the District 112 jazz bands will play in Mount Chaska High School Auditorium. And it will be concluded by a, uh, a, uh, an adult jazz band that I'm actually playing in, as well as some of your other uh, music teachers here in the district. And uh, we'll also feature our guest clinicians. And I know one of the guest clinicians is one of my good friends, Jim Tembenzel, who's a trombonist, um, just a, a legend around the Twin Cities. Uh, he's been playing trombone here for over 50 years, and it's just an awesome, very entertaining musician. So uh, it'll be fun to come and see Jim, and I'm, I'm actually looking forward to playing with Jim again. So. Uh, and then just real quick, this podcast is going on really long, my apologies, but we have our country band, garage band tour coming up on Thursday, uh, February 15th, and that will be all school day and into the night. We're playing at Bluff Creek Elementary, University of Wisconsin, River Falls, and The Garage, a very cool venue in Burnsville. So that's coming up on Feb 15th. Um, just some news, as I'm talking right now, one of our students is off rehearsing with the All-State Honor Jazz Band, Sean Bartles. Congratulations, Sean. He is the uh, Barry Sachs player in the State Honor Jazz Band this year. Uh, second year in a row, the Barry Sachs player has come from Chesco Middle School West, which is pretty awesome. So uh, they'll be doing a, a, a concert later on today over at Anoka Ramsey College, and then they'll be doing another concert, a more formal uh, concert, at the State Music Education Convention at the Minneapolis Convention Center, and that will be on Friday, February 23rd. I don't know if the time's been decided yet. They usually do it late morning, like around 10 or 11 o'clock, so I'll get that information on this podcast as soon as I know it. And then also, uh, congratulations to all of our students who were selected for the Regional Honor Band in Mankato, uh, Hannah, Peyton, Ava, Jordan, and Timmy. And congratulations to all those students selected for the Decora Tri-State Honor Band, which will be occurring on March 3rd. Um, Sydney, Hannah, Donatella, Max, Sean, John, Timmy, Anna, Keegan, Abby, Hope, and Jennifer. So awesome for all of you. Um, just a reminder, as I wrap things up here, you can follow me on Twitter at CMSW Band or at Songer Studio. If you want to get text reminders, you can send the message at 17 band 6 or at 17 band 7 or at 17 band 8 to the number 81010. And when I say at, I mean the at symbol. Uh, Google Classroom students has a lot of information coming your way about things that you need to know, including lesson schedules, playing tests, other events. Uh, you probably noticed I have a channel here on YouTube. It's called Mr. Songer's Channel. And not only does it have these weekly podcasts, but it has all the band lessons. So in case you miss a band lesson and you'd like to see what you missed, you can definitely watch that. And I'll close with this. I have a really cool project called Setting the Stage. And I was really hoping to get some of this stuff by the Rocket Concert, but we might come up just a little bit short unless some of you want to make a quick donation. Uh, it's called Setting the Stage. It's on DonorsChoose.com, which is like a GoFundMe for teachers. It's, and there's so many wonderful projects on there. So if, if you are, are looking for uh, something to give, 
uh, to a worthwhile event, we'd love to have you consider us. So, all right. So I think that's it for today. A very long podcast. My apologies, but there's so much going on. So have a great rest of your day and uh, look forward to seeing you back here next week when we do what's happening in the Chaska Middle School West Band Department.